Hi everybody, it's Miss Shannon and I am here at Fairfield County District Library back again with some grab bag art. Last week we did print art. You know, it was recycling cereal boxes, books, newspapers, those kinds of things. Um, just having a little bit of fun with recyclables instead of throwing them in the trash. There are lots of things we can do with them. So today we're going to use old CDs and DVDs to create art. First, a few facts. So, CDs and DVDs are made out of number seven plastics. You know, if you do recycle a plastic here, it's usually number ones and number twos. Not many places will take the other numbers. And CDs are number seven. So we don't really want them in the recycle bin, but we also don't want them in the landfill either. So we can have some fun with them. Uh, millions, millions end up in the landfills every year. And scientists say it'll take them a million years to decompose. A million years. It's a really long time. Um, so we'll have some fun. In the library we have a book called Cool Crafts with Old CDs and it is by Harold Serene. Just some ideas. We have all kinds of craft books in the library. But I thought it was interesting. She gave us a little bit of information about CDs. It says since 1983, the CD, the compact disc, has been an easy and cheap way to store information. However, the storage system can be a big problem for the environment. This is what I thought was interesting. Each month, almost 50 tons, 50 tons each month of CDs are tossed into landfills. That's the weight of 15 elephants going in the landfill each month. That is a lot of CDs. And it's not an easy way to recycle them. Though you can send them, there are places you can send them. But why not have some fun with them first? So I have some cool crafts. Let's start with let's start with this sun catcher. So this is a simple craft. If you look in your bag, one of the CDs is actually a double CD. We uh, glued some with glue dots, so they're on both sides, uh, shiny on both sides. Uh, you can do that at home. You can glue them together also. If you have, they don't have to be glue dots. Uh, then we decorate it with Sharpie markers. Permanent markers work best, but you could also use crayons and paint and those kinds of things on your CD too. But Sharpie markers look great. They're vibrant colors. They show up really well. Uh, also on this one, we included some sequins. Those are easy to glue on. You can either use tacky glue or you can use a glue stick. These were glued on with a glue stick and they stay pretty well. Once you've decorated your CD the way you want it, give it a string. You can use yarn. This is fishing line. You hang it in your window and the sunlight reflects off of the CDs. They're nice and shiny give yourself a sun catcher. Uh, on your instructions, there's a, a sun catcher in the corner. They used an old tin can. You could use a can and I strung several from it to make a wind chime kind of sun catcher. There's all different ways you can do this. Uh, also on your instruction sheet, we've included websites from where for where these pictures came from. So if you want to know more about those, uh, check out those websites and see how they made them and uh, some other fun ideas with them. So sun catchers are really fun. Let's see, let's look next at the fish. The fish are on your paper too. The fish is also very easy to make. You can give it scales. You can use permanent markers, just like you did with the sun catcher. You could use crayons, however you want to decorate it. For the fins, we just used tissue paper putting it through the hole and just taping it down. You can tape it down. Um, for the lips, if you look at the lip shape, it kind of looks like a heart. So that's what I did. I cut out a little heart, taped it to the back, and gave our fish a fish lip. We also included some googly eyes, so you could draw on your eye just as easily. So you can decorate your fish. You could do the other side and then glue them together. 
be another sun catcher. Or you can use some of your art construction paper that's in your bag and glue it to your paper and decorate an aquarium. Um, looks like we have two fish there and a little bit of green tissue paper for seaweed. We've got bubbles going up. So you can make a picture, you can make a sun catcher. The fish is a simple idea and it goes kind of along with our tails and tails, our summer reading theme this year. So this is our fish tail. And if you come into the main library, you'll see all kinds of fish and other sea life hanging around on our floor. Uh, let's see, what else? We have, oh, speaking of sea life, how about a shark? A shark is pretty easy to make. This is just paper, just plain white paper cut into teeth, glue stick, screw it down, marker, crayon, and just cut out a couple fins. So you give it a back and make it a sun catcher too. You can share a picture of your aquarium. Uh, all kinds of things you can do to decorate. So shark, fish, sun catchers. Let's see what else. How about flowers? You can make yourself a garden. This is from this website. It is also a decorated disc with some more paper cutouts. These are cut out of the tissue paper and just glued on. Uh, trace, you can trace the CV to get a size if you want to make a bigger flower and then just give it petals to decorate it. And again, make several of them. You can make your own garden. All kinds of things you can do. So flowers, shark, fish, sun catchers, one more I want to talk about. This is not necessarily art, but functional art, fun art. This is a top made out of a CD. Uh, the top is decorated. This time it's with a piece of paper that was traced and colored in. There is a bottle cap glued to the top, so we're recycling a bottle cap, and a marble glued onto the bottom. And this is just a regular marble. A little bit of tacky glue, let it dry, and make yourself a top out of a CD. They go really, really well. There's all kinds of things you can do with CDs and CD art. So check out some of those websites. Check out what's in your bag. Be as creative as you want to be. Uh, there are crayons in your bag or sequins, uh, tissue paper or get creative with things that are at your house. And then take a picture. Take a picture and send it to us at fcd, fcdys at fcdlibrary.org. It should be on your paper. And we'd like to see what you've come up with, what your creations are. And we'll include you in our video at the end of the summer so you can see what everybody's been up to. So have fun with your CDs. Uh, share with us what you're doing. And we'll see you next time. Bye.